Testimony was held today at the site of the deadly shooting at Oneida's Radisson Hotel. In attendance, employees and their families who are still trying to process the violence that took the lives of two employees and injured a third. Local 5's Eric Richards was at that traditional event. But it affects all of us. It affects us because we are a family. The Oneida Nation held a healing and blessing ceremony at the Oneida Casino and Radisson Hotel parking lot. In tribal culture, this ceremony is the responsibility of the Oneida people to take care of their community. We've been planning for a few days now to gather and do a tobacco burning. And again, uh, as we continue to work through this uh, traumatic event. That traumatic event, a shooting at the Duck Creek restaurant, which left two employees dead and another injured. The suspected shooter was shot and killed by police. The ceremony was focused on the recovery and spiritual needs of the employees and their families. We wanted to make sure we're taking a, a balanced approach to, you know, all of uh, our employees and, and our community as well. well. The ceremony was celebrated in their native language, and that's why we've chosen not to film that portion of the services out of respect for their culture. About 100 people were in attendance, which showed the solidarity of the Oneida community. The events of Saturday night remind us of the great strength of our community. From our courageous staff to the incredible first responders, to our generous partners in the business community and all others who have continued to assist us. Oneida Nation is preparing to reopen their casino while continuing to offer support services to their staff. In Oneida, Eric Richards, Local 5 News. And a community wide healing and blessing ceremony is going to be held Saturday, May 8th at 9 a.m. at the Oneida Powwow Grounds. In coronavirus news now, COVID